Hey guys, just thought I'd make a video on my pop lock um, tailgate installation on a Toyota Tundra 2010 Crew Max. A um, couple of things, so thought I'd share. I'm gonna make it a little easier on those who are going through the same thing I did. Um, got everything installed. Everything was pretty easy. Running the wiring through uh, the tailgate. Ran it through. There's a circular hole in the back here on the underside. Running it through the triangle or the rectangular piece, going through the bed. Uh, ran it up the passenger side. Um, there's a video I think from for a 2013 Tundra, and they for whatever reason show in the video it running up the driver's side. There's no reason to go on that side. And maybe it was for a Tacoma or something like that, but. Um, there's also a guy that did a 2014 video. His wiring looked different up front. So um, I'll just show you mine. Um, it did say the third blue harness down. Um, and I think this is the MJ1 connector that they were talking about. It's not, what did they say? I think they said, they said it was like an 18 pin. Something like that. Oh, 18 pin. I don't think that's what that is, but um, regardless, it's right here. And the two wires that they want you to connect, they say the blue wire for the 2007 through 2017 Tundras, you will splice the blue wire into a blue and silver dash wire and then the green wire into a white with a silver dash. There is not a blue or a white with a silver dash on this. So I'll just show you real quick. On this, the third one down, right underneath the black and white wire, which is pin five. I don't know if you can see that. So that's pin five. Underneath that is the white wire. And that is pin four, and that's going to be the blue wire. You splice the blue wire into that pin four white wire, okay? Even though they tell you opposite. The blue wire underneath the white wire in pin three, that's going to be where you splice in the green wire. Um, and then below that you have another green wire in pin two, and pin one is a white wire or a yellow wire excuse me um, just for your reference if if you're driving a different year or something like that I don't know if this will help just seeing it so um, ditch these things because I did have it connected to the right wires and these T connectors are terrible they're I mean I think everybody knows that but just in case you try to use them don't you're just wasting your time they're they're really bad. Um, there was just no connection at all. So um, there is a trick where you, if you have a separating um, wire cutters, um, you can separate a space in here, create a circle, drive these through, wrap them around, and then um, put some electrical tape around them if you don't have a soldering kit. So. Um, I don't have any solder left right now, so I just wanted this thing hooked up today. And it works. Um, just remember that these these wires, according to this instruction, for me anyways, they were reversed. So um, no big deal if you already do all this. You can always just switch the connections at the back. But it works like a charm. I'll show you guys. Uh, and you ran that through the firewall, right? But here... We're going to lock, unlock, um, and I know the the uh, guy that made the 2014 video also talked about putting grease um, on, all over his parts and everything. I ran into the same exact thing. If I try to open it there, it really pushes this thing all the way open, and this um, actuator was really struggling to lock it, uh, and so what I did was I put some grease as well as I applied a bunch of silicone right into uh, the locking mechanism in there um, and it locks on the first try and I, no problem 
So hopefully that video helps you guys. Uh, I know I had a little bit of struggling, so have a good one. Thanks.